Hello, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and I had some questions given to me about setting up materials per bone, and so I wanted to make a quick uh, guide to show you how to do it. So here you go. So we got our fish aquarium right here. We got a fish. <clears throat> we got a plant. They're animated. They're moving. They're alphas. They're blends. There's water in there. All kinds of stuff. That's what it looks like in the game. Let's jump over here to our code and look what that looks like. So here's one of the times where a render controller is really powerful. And it seems like most people just blow off render controllers like, yeah, render controller, just use default. And I hate to see people do that because it's really powerful if you know what you're doing. So here we go. So look at all these materials I've set up. I have a different different bone so I'll show you these so let's look let's grab pet fish bowl glass so we come over here to our block bench model and we find pet fish bowl glass so that's a bone so here's our glass the blue and there's the water so that's the glass and then we've got a fish and we've got all, you know, Blockbench doesn't show this stuff very well. It struggles, but there's all kinds of different things in there. If we take this out and we take this out and this out and this out, there you go. So now you can see all of them. There you go. So that's all of, and all of these are alphas. This is an image just on a flat material. These aren't 3D or anything. All of these are alpha. So you see how the bones are in here. Let's jump over and in the render controller, it's just a render controller, we have our bone name and then a material. Bone name and a material. And then let's look in the render controller or uh, sorry, the entity RP file. So we got pets, we got fishbowl. And then in here, all we did was set up a material and the material is the name and then what we want that material to be. So this connects to here. You connect them together. If it's got a star, it's gonna try to do all of them with this name plus supposedly I don't know half the time it doesn't seem like it's doing it so I just do what's there sorry I got the coughs and then over here we just list them and you do the same thing for textures if you want to have textures there I mean the render controller is really powerful the other thing that people often miss is uh, parts visibility you can turn off parts during different queries so if I want all my parts to disappear on a query then I just put it in like this but if I want one part to disappear then I could type that part in whatever that parts gonna be and and when they say part they're in essence mean a bone so I put this bone in and I say query uh, is day maybe is uh, let's see what's a quarry is moving like it, you could have bones turn on and off uh, when the entity moves you could it, night and day when sleeping when not sleeping and that's how vanilla uses it to turn off like the shield or to turn off other things when you sit so if you wanted to have Say you had a backpack that's on, you could have the backpack disappear when the player was riding. Uh, that's a simple thing that you could do right here in player visibility. All of that's in this render controller. But for the material, to set up a per bone material, you in uh, Blockbench, make sure you have it in a bone. Know what the name is. Case sensitive, so make sure that it's all lowercase. Everything has to be exact. And then over here, you're going to list it. And then in your RP entity file, you list it under materials and you select which material you want for each of them. In some cases, I had to use blend for the water. 
and then all the rest I just use alpha test and then for the default I use entity and that works really well and that shows you what the water is now keep in mind this doesn't work in RTX and RTX you got to do it a different way uh, also something in there is the particles keep in mind that the particles also have an alpha and a blend and a opa opacity option and so you can't use bl uh, blend and blend together so you have to use if you're going to use blend for the water and the bubbles are in the water then you use alpha for the bubbles so it gives you a good idea of how the materials work in there thank you for watching if you have any questions ask in the comments below and check out the discord channels for block binge and the bedrock dev people that's where you can get help check out my website outlandishly crafted and if you'd like to support me how about playing Dragonfire Bedrock Edition in Marketplace? It's a good play. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.